Good afternoon, everyone. I figured that this week for our farm video, we would go and fling poo together. My husband's already started. We need to clean out our hoop houses. They're quite full and he's already finished two and he's gonna be working on the third soon. But as you know, as a housewife, wifey stuff comes first sometimes before all the other dirty jobs. So let's go down there and see what's going on. Now we go over why I love and what I don't love, love them or hate them, hoop houses, and why we are definitely, at the end, why we are getting away from these. So first, all the love ems, the pros, whatever you want to call them. The first reason is the cost effectiveness of these. It doesn't take a lot of money or resources to build one of these. It just takes four pieces of wood at the bottom to make sure you have a nice sturdy foundation and then some utility paneling. You don't even need to use utility paneling. You can use other things to make your hoops with. We use the utility panels. So we connect it from the bottom one side to the other side with some nice heavy duty staples and pound them in to the two by fours or two by sixes that we use at the bottom. So they're very cost effective. They are cheaper. This right now to build everything we have the way it stands right now because of inflation, it is up to $500. But back when we built this, we were looking at maybe, maybe 200 and you can use leftovers. So, and that's how we have ours built. Not everybody builds theirs the same way we do. So that is one thing to think about when you're looking at what buildings you want for your birds. Another great reason is that you do not have to be a master carpenter or a jack of all trades to build one of these. And you only need a few tools and you can build it in a weekend. If you are a novice, sometimes you might be able to build it in a few hours if you have help with somebody who knows what they're doing. And that's what makes these great because with not having knowledge, you can just easily quickly build one of these hoop houses and get it up. So that way you have some protection for your birds. Hi babies. Another good point about these hoop houses is they're basically shelters. So you don't have to use them just for birds. You can use them for other animals. You can use them for pigs. You can use them for calves. You'll just have to change the fencing on it. But if you're using the cow panels inside, that'll be good. But the wood might not be so great for pigs because they do chew wood. But at least it is a shelter and will protect them from all the weather. <laughs> Another good thing about these hoop houses is that you can build them for however long or wide you want them. So you don't need to just make them a four by four. You can make them a 20 by 10, whatever you want. It all depends on you and you can make these mobile. So you can slap some wheels on them and be able to hook them up to a tractor or just pull them by yourself. So you can actually take, hook a rope to them and pull them, which I have done. We do have one of these hoop houses on wheels. And this one is actually our longest. This has almost three panels long. It is really long. And for the longest time, it only holds four dogs and it didn't need to be all this. <laughs> didn't need to be this big. This was one of, uh, I think it was like our second hoop house we built and we made it really big so we can put a whole bunch in but it just didn't work out we used to have it um, for Drake's actually so another thing that is actually really good about the hoop houses is basically they're just like a shelter <laughs> they give protection with some modifications so make sure if you're gonna use the hoop houses for livestock that you use extra fencing or use the metal uh, you can use the metal roofing along the bottom. There's all different ways to actually uh, 
modify your hoop houses to protect your livestock or birds, whatever you're using it for. Here is my mound from that house. It's all right there. <laughs> I'm gonna show you now the huge pile of straw from all of these houses. And you will not believe how big it is. This minus this pile. This pile hasn't gotten there yet. <laughs> and you can see it's, it's up to my... <laughs> Just from those five hoop houses. But now, let's go discuss the Hayden part, or dislikes if you want to use that term, if you don't, if hate is too strong for you, or uh, the cons. So, the first one is a constant upkeep with the plastic, or uh, we use tarps, and then we use, you know, we got Tyvek in there that gets expensive, but that helps break the wind down and some of the moisture from the summers. And you add the tarp every year. You have to put a new tarp on or plastic, whatever you're using. And then you're changing it between clear plastic to you want green to help with keep it a little bit of a cool. So that gets a little pain in the butt because you're constantly changing out every year like i need to redo pewters all of them all needs new tarps and then the plastic that i, I have to buy that too sometimes every year because it all depends on the weather because we use black plastic sheeting over that to also help keep the heat in during the summer we've had a greenhouse before and in the evening all that heat leaves there's it doesn't stay in there it just it, it dissipates so it's only hot during the day and maybe for a few hours after the sun goes down and that's it it's cold we had to actually put a red light in ours one year and we had a greenhouse so there's something to think about and another negative is the temperature control you really you can't control the temperature as well as you would want like i said when i was just talking about with the durability of the plastic is the temperature with plastic on in here in the summer you can roll up the sides um like i was talking about you would have to change the the tarp to go to a green so it's just not so hot um for them and again it depends on where you live and what how you built your hoop house to determine what you use so we have to use i use the tyvek to stop the wind and we have to actually turn the hoop houses to go east to west so they can get that nice breeze for late spring to early fall and as i was talking about earlier about predator protection is the same kind of thing as a negative too is again you have to do all these extra steps just to make sure that your bird or livestock is safe so if you just want to use it as a chicken tractor with wheels you can but you just need to make sure you have either electric fencing around or you going to, if you're gonna use it like we are, you're gonna to wanna to fence that in and put extra fencing on the inside. It all depends on how you want to do it. But again, that's just another step. So that's also why I consider it a negative at the same time. So another thing about the hoop houses is they're just, they're not permanent. They're not a permanent fixture because you can make them mobile and you have to actually modify them in order to be able to handle a lot of snow. Like I said, a few years back, we ended up with four feet of snow. I would highly suggest if you're gonna do this where there's a lot of snow, you brace up top and down the back, you make a nice T and you put a nice post in the front and brace it around the door. That way it can withstand the snow and wind because where we're at all of a sudden uh, there's a lot of deforesting going on so we actually have more wind here than we normally do so you don't want the some of those cheap flimsy little houses that i constantly keep seeing a tractor supply because those are not going to last very long unless you're going to uh, change the environment that they're going to be in which is more of plastic everything and you know protect it better you know and then the last thing is they're not really winter insulated. So unless you're gonna do the extra mile, which we do. They're up year round, we turn them for the weather, those seasons, why we do the black plastic to collect 
that sun during the winter to keep these houses warm why i have tyvek in there i try to protect them from any wind chill that they could get so there's a difference between the hoop houses and wood so the wood we don't need to go do that all extra mile you can just slap the wood up and maybe put some insulated foam in if you want and you're good other than that you don't have to some people don't even have that and we have to deep bed up here we no matter where they're going to live in a house i actually have to deep bed our birds so the only thing with these is the deep bedding because as it decays it creates heat because it's constantly getting fresh green material and there, there's their manure and everything and they're getting fresh stuff in there it makes it so it starts decaying faster i mean my husband was already pulling out worms and tossing them to the ducks so that is why uh, I personally am ready to be done with the hoop houses because I can't keep cleaning out. I mean, we got like this, you know, you got like six inches or more of straw, all that composted bedding, and it's a lot of work. Just something to think about if you're thinking about what housing to build. It's basically, overall, the hoop houses offer a cost effective. And versatile option really for housing for your poultry or livestock. It is also very important to remember your climate, your, pot your potential predators, and your ability to manage the temperature to determine if the ho hoop house is going to work for you. Like I was saying, the hoop house is different and I'm pulling away from the hoop house. It's not that you can't use it for other things. It's, I'm just getting too old to keep turning it, and I'd rather use it for other things, as, uh, other, as in pigs, or maybe some sheep, or maybe I would hope, I would love to have a beefer cow. Maybe some goats, you know, you never know. The options are endless. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you did down in the comments, and if there's a hoop house that you like or a different style of house let me know down below and as always i will see you in the next one